Hello, my name is Kenji Summers, and today I will be showcasing my iCAM Senior project, The Drop. This project is an exploration of modular composition. But what is that? Modular composition is the process of creating music by combining other pieces of music, labeled as modules. Modules can be anything listed here and more. What I have created is a customizable modular song. I have composed five modules that, because of various compositional decisions, are able to be structured in any order to produce a cohesive piece. The audience interacts with these modules through a mobile application I have developed using Swift, which I will later demonstrate. I was inspired to do this project when I learned about the recording process of Good Vibrations by the Beach Boys in class. The sections within this song are very distinct because composer Brian Wilson wrote them independently from one another and physically spliced together the tapes in post-production. Fascinated by the modular process, I wanted to take this idea one step further and compose modules that could be structured in any order. The following is a demo of the app I developed to demonstrate my project. We begin with module 4. Here's module three. Module 1 Module 2 My overall goal with the modules were to preserve continuity while maintaining each module's distinct character. Because the modules truly only share the BPM and key, I was tasked with manipulating the modules to preserve the continuity. Here are some examples of creative decisions I made to achieve this. Module 1 is the first module I compose and establish the key. It begins on a G-sharp minor chord and ends on a G-sharp 7, resolving back into itself. It has a riser to increase the tension of the last chord before it switches to the next module. Module 2 recontextualizes the chords from Module 1, prepending a measure of G-sharp minor before the module begins to shift the chord progression start. As a result, the module begins with E major to D-sharp 7 and ends on G-sharp minor. While the audience may not explicitly hear this, the familiarity of the chords preserves continuity. To ease the transition into Module 3, I highlighted G-sharp in the bass and synths and left out most chord tones. The last chord in both Module 1 and 2 flow into G-sharp better than an E major chord. To set up the transition to another module, the bass descends from B to A sharp, suggesting a resolution to G sharp. This works well since modules 1 and 2 begin with a G sharp minor chord and resolves the musical phrase upon transition. I approached the beginning of module 4 similar to module 3 and had an electric piano play a G sharp power chord to clearly establish the tonic. The module ends on a D sharp 7 chord, which resolves to G sharp minor. To amplify this tension, I soloed the vocal to create a vacuum of sound that draws the listener's anticipation and propels the song forward. During my exploration, I found that preserving continuity with respect to a specific module grouping is contingent on manipulating smaller modules. I began my investigation concentrating on each module as an independent song section. However, during composition, I began to see each sample and melodic phrase as their own micro-modules that preserve continuity. 
Extrapolating to higher orders of module scale, DJ mixes and symphonies are modular music comprised of macro modules. To preserve continuity on this level, DJs, for example, would bridge songs using effects like pitch shift or reverb watches on the individual tracks themselves. Within each order of module magnitude, preserving continuity is contingent on manipulating the lower orders of magnitude.